Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, so up, so like, what was it? Well, I get it. Like, I, I make it easier for you. What was the longest stretch? What something that shocked you? And like, dang, that's a lot. Uh, well, my the first my uh, my first incident in juvenile hall did four months. Then I did nine months, and then I was out like sixty nine days and caught a murder robbery. Okay, um, me and my crime partners, and intentional, what an accident, white America. Wow, you know, and um, end up doing fifteen years. Okay, you know, so um, from seventeen to about twenty-seven. Wow, you know, uh, grew up and I'm I'm the first youth to ever. I, I caught a case in uh, Ontario YTS and Youth Authority. Okay, and uh, uh, I died. Uh, uh, got convicted, and I went f straight from Youth Authority to San Quentin. Wow. Nobody, ain't nobody do that. You got to go through Tracy, Tehachapi, yeah. Soledad. That I went straight to the adjustment center. Wow. You know? So they sent me there to kill me, but God said no. Hey, <laughs> you know. So when you when you think about um, growing up, because I, I Kendrick Lamar and all the rap artists did. We, I, we was talking early off the uh, behind the scenes, and and how did you end up? Just give me the story on Kendrick Lamar. Knowing him and, and meeting, you know, seeing him growing up. Uh, Kendrick was a a, a, a brother. He, he had moved uh, from Watts, and his family moved across the street from us. He was mild mannered young dude, you know, really stayed to himself. And I used to, you know, pick him up, be interact with him, and never knew he had a talent because yeah. he didn't walk around with a rap book or always rapping. He's just like low profile, like mild mannered as, as he is now. And um, I remember one day I had an artist, uh, Tony Hustle, we was on Warner Brothers, and we go to a, uh, uh, um, a, uh, a celebrity party, and we go in there, and, and J-Rock was there, J-Rock from Watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And J-Rock just got put on Warner Brothers, and I see Kendrick, I'm like, hey, Kendrick, what's up? I think he's in the entourage with J-Rock, right? So. You know, and I see him a couple of more times on stage when Game Ned did a thing with J-Rock. I see Kendrick on the stage, so I'm thinking he a bouncer boy, right? I go to uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Somebody call me like, hey, Mar, you know the little dude stay across the street from you? I'm like, who? Kendrick. I'm like, yeah. He said, man, he on Source Magazine. I said, we kill. He's like, man, no, then go, see, go in there and see him with Dr. Dre. I'm like, what? I didn't even know this dude could rap. Wow, a <laughs> dope know? story, man. Did you ever talk to him after that? Yeah, I saw him. I'm like, you know, you can't ask to get on when you miss the, miss the boat. He's <laughs> 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 a little homie, you know what I'm saying? But everybody wants, now you want to claim him. You know, Shook had action at him, but he didn't think he was worth it. Wow. So all the dudes that had action, now they all crying. And when he moved from my, his, uh, his mother didn't move from my, that well, where I grew up, it was treetops. We 1950. My, my cousin tell me, nigga, you all not know um, black uh, blackjack boys. This is treetops <laughs> because all our streets are named after trees. Mm -hmm. okay. Elm Street, Spruce Street, Maple Street, Magnolia Street, Palmer Street. All our streets are trees. Okay. So that's the treetop. Mm -hmm. So in 1959, I became a treetop. Wow. And treetops went from central to Compton Boulevard, to Rosecrans, to the canal. We had a canal running from one side to the other. And Elm Street had the bridge. And when I get in my teens, we ran the bridge. If you wanted to go across our bridge, the Canal Boys Bridge, you had to pay a quarter or fight somebody. Wow. If not, you had to walk all the way around to go downtown. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.